What is going on YouTube? Here we go again, another unboxing. Today it's going to be the Mars Hydro FCE6500, not the FC6500, FCE. That's right, they've upgraded it, they've added a whole nother letter to the name. I'm just joking around, they've actually done a few more things than that to this light setup. And this time around, they have detachable bars. You can set up your light concentration to however you like it. Take a look at that. And it has a lot more diodes added in too. They went from how the old FC6500 had about 2700 diodes on it to now this upgraded version of it you could call it that has 3900 diodes on it a little bit more than that close to 4000 but not quite 4000 so that's one of the aspects that they've changed with this light although I will have to add one more thing about the diodes they did change the brand name right now they're using bridge lux max I think they're called bridge lux max diodes and the FC6500 uses the Samsung diodes. So there's a little bit of a difference there. This light is mainly meant for a 5x5 setup, although you could put it inside of a 4x4 and just use the dimmer to turn it down to whatever amount of par that you want your plants to be receiving. So a 4 foot or a 5 foot tent will do you perfectly with this light. You might be able to get away with a six foot tent, a six foot by six foot I'm meaning to say, but that might be pushing it a little bit for the flower. Definitely veg you could get away with it. This light also comes with an IP65 rating, so you don't have to worry about any of the humid climates that you're gonna be putting it in. It'll be perfectly fine. It'll come out unscathed. And another thing I do like about these lights that they're making nowadays, they all have really long cords on the driver, so you can just detach the driver, stick it on the outside of the tent, and not worry about the extra heat accumulation inside of the tent. The light's a 650 watt light, so it is a pretty powerful light, so you might want to definitely put that on the outside of the tent. Personally for me, I'm 100% throwing it on the outside of the tent. Alright, let's see what we have going on underneath this foam. And we have the power cords, the user manual, and of course the driver underneath the user manual. These are all the individual power cords and the main power cord going to the driver I'm pretty sure. The user manual right here has a bunch of basic information with a bunch of different lights inside of it. And then it also has the assembly instructions for how to put together your light. Let's just throw down the instructions for half a second though and continue unboxing the rest of this. We'll go back to the actual how you put the light together portion of the instructions soon enough. Yeah, we got the standard stickers. Then we got the driver right here. It's a nice beastly driver. It has a dimmer on it. On and off switch daisy chain function and last but not least it also does have that ip67 rating which means it does have a little bit of water resistance to it good for the humidity in case you do want to leave it inside of your tent and of course we got the standard hangers your clips and then the actual bolts and everything to put together the light with and we are back we're about to assemble this light here's a quick look at the instructions i took a once over on them and i can clearly see that they are missing a few things on this light so i'm going to definitely clarify a couple things that are not on this user manual when i throw this light together all right let's start off with step number one i'm going to say and that's inserting these little rectangular pieces they're going to be what's holding up your hangers. They're going to be bolted on. 
I'll show you in half a second how that's going to be going together. This is the end cap. This is what you're going to be screwing one of your lights to. That's why there's only four little slidey things in the middle. Because the two end pieces are going to be anchors for your lights. And then you can just position whatever you want in the middle. So no matter what, you pretty much have to have a light on each end. And that's the way I'm going to start constructing it anyway. I'm going to put it together each end first and work my way into the middle. Alright, so now that I have the corners all made, I'm going to start working my way in. And before I do that, I'm going to set up all my positions for my things that move, put them where I want to go, so I don't have to mess around with that in half a second. And I just have an easy walkthrough. And it's all done. Looking pretty decent. I just got to throw the power cords together. And then we'll be testing out this light. And then for the first time ever, I'm going to be doing a par test live on my video. And I'm going to be using the Benchmark Par Tester. And that would be the Apogee MQ500. It costs a decent amount. But it's worth it. It's probably the best one you could possibly have. I used to have a Hydro Farm one. It wasn't the most accurate didn't want to put it on any of my videos but now that I got the Apogee that's as good as she gets so I'll be doing par test from here on out on all my videos with all my lights so I'll be keeping you fully informed so here we go it's raised it's all put together powers on let's start doing the par test in a couple seconds let's just give you a little bit of a visual of what it looks like with these diodes powered up. And it has a ridiculous amount of diodes on the bars. That's awesome. Okay, let's start this par test. Okay, we're back. The par meter is sitting inside of the tent. It's at 0% right now. We're just going to do a quick little test. The light is raised to the highest point possible. And I will turn it up to 100%. After I do this quick little test, I'm going to be doing measurements at three different heights. And I'll let you know what those are in a couple seconds. So there we are. We're at 100%. Let's go do the actual tests. Before you test any light, you have to make sure it's all leveled out and good to go. And we are good to go. The first test is going to be at 36 inches. The next time I do this, I'm going to actually have my tripod with me. I'm going to set this up a little bit better. But for today, I'm just going to give you a generalization of the par numbers that I've accumulated. So at 36 inches, starting at the corner so the par readout starts out at about 470 at the very corner and then in the middle of the back side of the tent it moves to about 520 and then it dimmers back off to about 470 when it gets to the opposite corner now we're going to move up to the middle middle of the tent these are pretty much the only two readouts that i'm going to be giving you because the light is pretty uniform and I'll be doing a way more proper readout next time I do this. This is just going to be a fast run through right now. And it goes as is for the middle readouts. Starts out about 530, 570 at the side. Then when you move your way into the middle middle of the tent at 36 inches, it's about 650, a little bit over. All right, let's move on to the next measurement.
All right, so that was my first part test on video. It'll be way more detailed and better next time. It's Amazon Prime Day tomorrow and the next day. Grab yourself some deals if you want. Anyway, I'm out of here. Take her easy, everybody. I'll see you next time.